Monozygotic twins are genetically identical because they form from a single spermatozoan and oocyte. In contrast, dizygotic twins, like non-twin siblings, each develop from an independent oocyte and an independent spermatozoan, and share approximately 50% of their genomes. Sesquizygosity is a rare third postulated form of twinning, in which twins share between 50 and 100% of their genomic sequences, and are therefore on a continuum between monozygosity and dizygosity. Twin fetuses that share a single placenta, monochorionic twins, are almost always identical, and monochorionicity observed on an early routine ultrasound is usually the first sign that a pair of twins is identical. In a recent case of sesquizygosity, a 28-year-old woman underwent an ultrasound examination at six weeks of gestation, and the resulting scans showed a monochorionic, diamniotic twin pregnancy. The absence of a chorion extending between the layers of the intertwin membrane unequivocally indicated a monozygotic pregnancy. At 14 weeks gestation, an otherwise normal ultrasound showed one fetus appearing to be male and the second fetus appearing to be female. Further genetic tests demonstrated that each twin was a chimera made up of at least two types of cell, cells with two X chromosomes and cells with an X and a Y chromosome. All of their cells carried the normal complement of 23 pairs of chromosomes. Genomic analyses of the twins and their parents demonstrated that the maternal portion of each twin's genome was identical, and that each twin was chimeric for different, although partially overlapping, portions of paternally inherited genetic sequences. In total, the twins' genomes were 89% identical, which makes them sesquizygous. These results are consistent with dispermic fertilization, the fertilization of one oocyte with two spermatozoa. The authors speculate that after dispermic fertilization, a single pronucleus from the mother and two pronuclei from the father formed a tripolar spindle apparatus, ultimately resulting in a heterogeneic cytokinesis, the generation of cells with different chromosomal contents, followed by cell division. Although this model produces a cell line with only paternal genetic material, mouse studies suggest that a cell line with no maternal contribution undergoes growth arrest and is outcompeted by cells of biparental lineage. Twinning of the chimeric embryo would result in sesquizygotic twins. The female twin in this case was diagnosed with gonadal dysgenesis, a known complication of chimerism of the sex chromosomes, and at the age of three she required an oophorectomy. The twins are otherwise healthy and developmentally normal.